Welcome to Tylicious The Journey, season number two. Tylicious The Journey is our story of our food eating exploration all around Thailand. My name is Daniel Fraser. I'm a Thailand based travel guru. And I'm Andy Ricker. I'm the chef and owner of Pok Pok Restaurants. And we're starting off Chantaburi Waterfront Community in Chantaburi Province. Chantaburi Province is oh, three hours from Bangkok, halfway between Bangkok and the Cambodian border. And I've heard that the food around here is really interesting with lots of local herbs, plants, unique fruits that they use in the cuisine here. So I'm really looking forward to checking this out. Every time I come here to Chantaboon community, there's a dish that locals say you must have, can't miss it. Brand Day Eat, my favorite restaurant in Chantaboon. Mm -hmm. And this first one is with the tom yam with gang, which is crayfish. Typical uh, dish of noodles with a tom yam broth uh, with crayfish and yeah. in this case some crab and prawns as well so it's kind of like a mixed seafood dish. Mm. Wow. Very flavorful. Oh, there's another dish. I don't know how to translate this but in Thai it's khao klup. Priklua. Khao is the rice. Klup is mixed. Priklua is basically nam chum seafood which is chilies, lime juice, fish sauce, mm. garlic but she's added a little bit of salt and, and left out a little bit of the fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Sour, really spicy, a little bit sweet, salty. Mm. All right, just 10 minutes from the Chantaboon community is another dining institution. This is a restaurant called Chanton Pochina. It's been here over 50 years. And it was one of the first recipients in this city to receive uh, Shao Shun Chim, the Michelin Guide of Thailand. <laughs> Okay, one of the great things about traveling through Thailand with Andy Wicker, chefs invite you into the kitchen. We've heard they do a very local special menu here that you've never seen in other parts of Thailand, but I can't even pronounce it. What is it called? Okay, so uh, Garwan Pachapla that I'm not familiar with so much is Garwan Penalai Kha. It's a Thai restaurant that has a lot of this pacha is like a, a curry, but it's usually kind of dry fried. This is the highlight. This is the gawan, right? Gawan and garlic and the lime leaf. The one hand of, of the pao. Kim. That's going to be really hot. Mmm. Aloy. I thought he's going to mouth on fire. She's going to take a okay. taste of the sauce. Yeah. Now. Aloy, Okay, the eating marathon continues. We're only, there's only two of us here, and this is an incredible bounty of food we've got here. Looks beautiful. Let's start at what we made in the kitchen a moment ago. This is the gawan pat cha pla, chen chan pat phu, which is uh, chantaboon noodles. And this one in the middle is gai som rakam sai gawan. It's chicken soup with the gawan stem and also snake fruit. And then this one looks like a stewed pork, but in, on the menu in Thai it's called mo samua, which is uh, pork curry with the sour leaf of the Malabar tamarind. And the last one at the end is long beans, stir fried with dried shrimp and shrimp paste. In Chantaburi, how do they say bon appetit? Chen kap. Chen <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Here we are in Chantaburi that has a thriving seafood scene and uh, I've heard that there's some really interesting, unique things here. So, this is it, Hoi Nang Rom. Fresh oysters. Now that we've seen them, I want to eat some. I think that they like to eat them fresh, just raw, but also I think that they also do it a stir-fried with a chili paste as well. Stir-fried oysters with chili paste. Yeah. So this is it, this is fresh from the sea. All right. All right, we've now arrived at Uncle Tom's floating raft house. Looks like we're going to make a little lunch. What are we going to have here, Andy? He's going to show us how to make uh, Hoi Nang Rom Pat Nam Prik Pao. First, I think we should check out these oysters. These are the mm -hmm. nice, clean oysters. We're just going to get some oil in the pan, and then we're going to add the chilies and garlic. And then the next thing is going in is this uh, roasted chili paste. Amazing. So this is called Nam Prik Pao, or roasted chili paste. Okay. So it gets roasted in oil as part of making the chili paste. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to add some of these oysters here. I think maybe about six or eight or so. 
And then we're going to add the What's soy next? sauce. This is we some baby it. corn, some fresh baby corn, which is one of my favorite things to put into a stir fry like this. It adds a little bit of crunchiness and sweetness. You don't want to overcook it. So now you can see that the, the sauce is, is bubbling away there and the oysters are cooked already. Now we're going to add the hot basil, like a pal, with a little bit of chilies added to it as well. Some, a little, some mild chilies mixed in with it. Next is going to be a dish that involves a very interesting local fruit. What is this one going to be called, Andy? This is Tom Som Hoi Nang Rom Rakam. Rakam. So rakam is, I think we translate it as snake fruit. Oh, uh, so this this is a sour soup, and this adds the sour to the to the uh, Whoa. soup. Whoa! Wow, that's sour in the way like a crab apple. Sure. Sour. Anyway, okay. So we've got the waters boiling. We've got some coriander or cilantro root, lemongrass, and this is galangal, shallots, lime with lime, lime leaf. And then next, we're going to add the fruit, and then we've got some here. oyster mushrooms, and then we've got some fish sauce here. We also have some really nice little red and green Thai chilies to add the spiciness to the soup. Okay, also, mm. we're going to add some lime to it, and that adds not only sourness, but a little bit of flavor too. Okay. So we're going to put in about half okay. the number of oysters that are here. So this is sawtooth herb, or uh, they call pak chi phalang. For me, of course, is the food, the, the way the Chandaburi people mm. use the local ingredients in their food, the fresh seafood, yeah. herbs, vegetables, fruit. They create their own unique cuisine. It's really fantastic. And it's very close to the, the Bangkok. You can get here just in a couple of hours. A very easy place to find. So, Chandaburi, I'm pretty impressed. I think we found it right here. I mean, look at this. We're here in Chandaburi, just a little bit off the Gulf of Thailand. The last couple days, Andy traveling around with you, getting in the back kitchens, learning about the way people make food here, but also small town villages, the nature of the people of Chandaburi. This is it. This is what I love about Thailand. Thailand.